All right, this is Jerry in Detroit, Michigan, 33. He's a housekeeper at a nursing home. No kids, and he's a Pisces. What kind of woman are you looking for, baby? Well, someone who don't play games, really, honestly. Uh, someone who know how to be a woman and talk on the phone instead of just want to just text all the time. And someone who just, you know, know what they're looking for. Okay, continue, Jared. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, somebody called on. Yes, I am a man of God. I'm an uh, elder in the church. You're an elder in the church? Yeah. Okay. Are you a virgin? No, I had sex before. Okay. Are you... Um, a long time ago. Over 10 years ago. You had sex 10 years ago? Yeah, over 10 years ago. So are you not having sex again until you're married? Yes, that would be correct. Not not intercourse. I'm not having sex. In, not intercourse sex. No. Not in... Well, um, so you do like... No. Nope. Foreplay? No. <laughs> I mean, like a kiss, like a little kiss on the cheek or a peck on the, a peck on the mouth. Okay, no big deal. But as far as like full intercourse, no. That I'm I'm held accountable. God holds me accountable for that. So I I I'm a real man of God. I don't I don't play with God. Okay. So you'll do a kiss on the cheek or a peck on the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> that's fine as long as it's not full, you know, intercourse. No, it's not before marriage. Okay. All right, Jared. So, okay, so that's a deal breaker for a woman wants to be, have sex before marriage. Any other deal breakers for you? Um, let's see. Other deal breakers. Hmm. Let me see. Someone who just think they better than you. It's a, it's a lot of women out here that they think just because they got a plastic surgeon body, a, a, a big booty and a big breast, they think they, they're better than you. They think they you're not even, you know, worth their time and them even talking to you, you know? You get what I'm saying? You, you know, I try to approach a lot of women, but they just, they think just because they have, you know, just, you know, the body that be on magazines and, and Vibe videos, they think just because they got a body like that, you know, or, or look like you, they think that they can look down on me, and I don't like that. So those are the kind of women you want to date, though. As long as long as they go godly or trying to be godly, you know, trying to have a relationship with God, it's it's fine. You know, I, I'm not saying that you got to be perfect. And if you're still in the world, as long as you're trying to at least trying to have a relationship with the Lord, I'll be fine with it. I can work with it. You know, it's, it's if you don't never want, if you never trying to be have a relationship with the Lord, I can't do it. You got to at least want to have a relationship with the Lord. You know, you get what I'm saying? Okay. So she has to, well, yeah, I mean, I, I got that when you first came on, but then when you described the kind of woman, cause you said that you approached the girl with the plastic surgery body. So I wasn't um, sure that I, I wouldn't think that you would approach her. I, would think I mean, they, I mean, they just, I they just think they better than you. Like, like literally if you, if you go to the bathroom and take a shit, you, you got to spray the bathroom just like me. What makes you think you better than me? You know, if you if you get cut, you bleed the same blood I bleed. So you you ain't no you ain't better than nobody. Now, what are they doing to to come across that they think they're better than you? They women they sniff their nose up, but you try to approach them to, just to have a regular conversation with them. They always think, oh, I got a man. Oh, I, it, they act like you you can't even approach them. They're not even approachable. Women, especially women in Detroit, they're not approachable at all. They just not. I don't even try no more because they just, they horrible. They, it's just, maybe I'm in the wrong city. Maybe I'm in the wrong state or something. Maybe I need to go to California or New York or something because this ain't, it ain't right here. It just ain't, the women ain't right here. Are you approaching women that go to church like you? Yeah, but it's just like, I just not, it just haven't happened for me. It just, my last, like I said, my last relationship was over ten years ago. Uh, my ex girlfriend Yurima, you know, I'm I'm over. Her. It's it's been over ten years, you know. This has been since two thousand eight, two thousand nine. You know, I've been over her, but you know, I occasionally run into her sometimes. I say hi to her, you know. She she all right, you know. Um, I have no preferences, no preference when it comes to like um weight, 
you can be a BBW or skinny as a toothpick. It really doesn't matter to me. As long as you genuine, as long as you have a good heart, you're a good person, that's that's what truly matters to me. Okay. You know, as long as you're willing to want to have a relationship with the Lord, it, I, I can, it can work. It can make, it can happen. You know, we can, you know, I, if you don't have a relationship, Lord, I can pray for you. And maybe, you know, you might be open to it. Um, having a relationship with the Lord, you know. Black you know, going so on, black going on, Jared. Yes. <laughs> one thing I'm, yeah, hearing, so. I'm trying to listen to you. So the one thing I hear is that you feel like when you approach women, they look down upon you or they're rude. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, they. Okay. They just, they just think they better than you. Like the women here, they just, I, I think they'll pop a baby for you in a minute, but they, they wouldn't take you seriously as a relationship. You get what I'm saying? So, and you said that you're considering going to a different city. Well, act right now you're right now you're talking to women in all different cities. One thing I will say is you you sound a little bitter. <laughs> I I guess I guess so I, you know, well, not that's really the frustration of not having sex in 10 years. No, I no no it's it's not it's not. I, I I promise you, it's not. First of all, <laughs> it's I, not. listen. I, I I commend you on that journey. Um, I think that that's awesome if you're able to do that. But I will just say that the woman that you were describing that you say looks down upon you, the woman that might be getting her bodies done. Not saying that women in church don't get their bodies done, but when I think of the women that are getting their bodies done, I'm thinking of the IG girls or the girls who live a certain lifestyle and to me it's like opposite than the type of girl i think you say you want if you want a woman to be with you without having sex until you get married i i would think you would you would only want to approach women that have your same belief system right i mean yeah but like i say if you're not if you don't have a relationship with christ you know I can at least try to see if it can work to maybe if you come to church with me, you know, maybe you might get a relationship with the Lord and well, maybe something can happen. It's like you're trying to make a person. I'm not trying to, I, I'm not trying to change them. The Lord would change them if they come to church, Hold if they on, would come. I respect your walk and your belief with the Lord, and but everybody has their own individual belief, right? So if this is a woman who you were describing women that get their bodies done, things of that nature, she might not be in the Lord the way you're in the Lord. So you can't force her to become that person, right? I'm not. I'm not. I'm saying if she comes to church with me, but it's her choice, though. It's her choice. It, it's I guess not, I'm it's, asking you, why are you not focusing on the women that currently already go to church? Because most of them are already married and... You know, and not the women in my, my church is older. They they elders. They you know, we it's not a lot of young women in our church. And they if they, we do have young women, but they don't come often. They just come like make like special time, special events. You know, special times. They don't come often. You, you get what I'm saying? So maybe you should go to a different church with younger people. There's like, where do you live again? You live in Detroit, Michigan. I'm not sure how. I know yeah. like Chicago has. There's like several popular churches that millennial churches uh, people go to. I think because you are adamant you're not having sex till marriage, right? Yes, that that's 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 correct. You know, sex is important to some women, and there's some women who, yeah, I know, I I know you say you're a godly man, and I know that's what you believe you should be, and there's no pushback from me on your beliefs, right? I'm not trying to deter you from that, but I think if you are sold on you're not having sex until you're married. You got to date women in your world. It seems like you're trying to get women that's not in your world to come to your world. I get what you're saying, but that could possibly happen if you pray for that woman. If she's not a godly woman, she Baby, God could listen, change her. That could happen. Say something. We, again, I respect all that you believe, but you also have to go by what you're seeing too, right? Um, and I'm not trying to deter you. Keep praying for women. Keep having those beliefs. But at some point in time, you got to see, is this working? Like, is this woman who's not going to church? You know, you said all these bitter things about this woman. She's looking down upon you. She she not respecting you. She thinks she better than you because she got her body done. Like, 
Leave that woman alone. Just mess with the woman that feel the way you feel. No, it, it's not one specific woman. It's like the women in general in Detroit. That's that's their mindset. That they ghetto wretched. I want to throw. See, a lot of women. That's what I realize. With women, most women, they say they want a good man, but really they don't. They just like but the idea you, of a good you, man. Okay. And that, okay, so what makes you a good man? Tell me all the qualities that make you a good man. What, what makes you a good man? Because you're, you you're saying that women are turning I'm, you down because they want thugs. So tell me all the qualities that make you a good man. Well, I'm a, first of all, I'm a king's child. You know, I, Jesus saved me, you know, and I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. So I'm, I'm genuinely kind at heart, you know. And that's what makes me a good man. I'm kind. I don't beat on women. I don't abuse women. You know, I I wouldn't typically say I'm an alpha male, but I know how to be an alpha when I when need be. You know. Okay. Okay. Um, and you said so with the women that you've been approached with in the last ten years. Do you do you tell them right away you're not having sex till marriage, or do you? It doesn't even get that far. Um, it doesn't get that far. Okay. Okay. So do you think, let me ask you this, do you think there's any things that you might have to change in order to, you know, attract a certain woman that you want to build a life with? Sorry. Um, I don't see what, what would have to change except maybe, I guess I'm talking to the wrong women, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just... You need to focus on the women that feel that same way, that are on that same path and mission as you, I wouldn't waste too much time on women who, because there's some women who are just gonna be like, that's like, and you can't judge those women, but some of them are gonna say, that's, I'm just not into that. Like, or I might love the Lord like you, but I wanna have sex. And, you know, and that's kind of what it is, or whatever the case but is. How, how could you, how could you possibly say you love the Lord and you having sex? You don't love the Lord if you having sex Stop before it. marriage. Now, 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 first of all, now, now we're about to get into it. Now, there's there's no one's perfect, and every sin is the same in the guy in the in the eyes of the Lord. Whether you cut somebody out or if you have sex, you're still a sinner. So, are you telling me you're not a sinner in no way? I'm, of course, okay. I've seen. I've That's seen. Right. I, so, so whatever. So just because you were able to lock down celibacy and not have sex doesn't mean if a person who hasn't been able to lock that down doesn't also love the Lord. So there's things that that's something that that's something that you've been able to control. But I'm quite sure you are a sinner in some other way. So don't judge that person because they're not doing what you're doing. You're probably sinning in a different way. Uh, I haven't. I don't. I don't sin often. You know, if I'm, well, if I do sin, I always. You are giving. You are judgmental because what you perceive to be opposite of what you accept, you are judging it. Now I'm not saying it's right or wrong. It's just the opposite of you. And you, like you said, whether you know it or not, you look down upon the women because you were saying that these women get their bodies done or all the other things. I can't remember what you said exactly, but you are judging them. Now, that's a sin. I mean, if I sin, though, I always ask God to forgive me. I, some people say, you know, they... Let me tell you what the problem they, is. You think you're perfect. You think you're perfect. No, that's no, that's, that's not... No? That's not true. That's not that's true. Not true. It's not true. Well, that's how you're I don't think I'm perfect. Right now, you're trying to, and every rebuttal, every time I shine a light on something that you can work on, you come back with, well, I pray and I ask God for forgiveness. How do you know that person is not also praying and asking God for forgiveness? I mean, they, I mean, they could be. What I'm saying is, you can't, how can you, how can you seriously call yourself a Christian if you having sex, that's all I'm saying. But what I'm, I'm not saying that person. Don't, I'm not saying. Listen, I'm not saying that person don't love God. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying how can you? You can't play with God and say, "Oh, I'm a Christian, but I'm having sex sex before marriage." That don't even add up. Can I, can I say this to you? Do you agree that? Do you agree that every sin is the same in God's eyes? A sin is a sin. That's correct. Okay, so it, it, right whether right whether you murdered somebody or stole a bag of chips, it's it's the same. Don't say it again, baby. I said whether you murdered somebody or stole a bag of chips, sin is sin is God in God's eye. You're right about that. Okay, so why are you spending so much time saying how can you say you love the Lord but you're having sex before marriage? If a sin is a sin in God's eyes, 
why are you weighing that one more than any other sin? Be because that's fornication. That's, but, that's but, I mean. But, 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 but you're not, you're, you're, you're contradicting yourself. You just said a sin is a sin in God's eyes. So every sin weighs the same. So you're trying to say right. you can't love God if you have sex. What I'm trying to say to me, what I've been taught, a sin is a sin. You can always ask for forgiveness, whatever the case may be. Yes. Now, hold on. So just like if you cut somebody out or if you judge somebody, having sex is all the same in God's eyes. So what I'm saying is you've been able to control, you've been able to control the ability to not have sex. Well, I, I, I'll say this. I don't know if you've been able to control it or if you just ain't got the options. Because who's really trying to have sex with you? It's easy not to have sex when anybody trying to have sex with you. <laughs> uh, that, that's that's fine. It doesn't matter that the, the woman don't want to have sex with me because I I don't want to have sex until I'm married. So it didn't even matter, you know. So I mean that's fine don't matter. Too, but I'm I'm just trying to point it out because. You you say you, you said that you say you're not perfect, but then you were coming across as you were perfect. So I think there's a lot of things. If you ever want to be somebody's husband one day, I know you feel like you got it all together because you got the Lord and that's all that you need, and that might be true. But the Lord gonna have to give you some more things too if you want a wife. Okay, I, I get what you're saying. You you saying I'm judging, but. All I'm saying is, I'm not saying the person. I don't want to keep on going around in circle, ringing around well, Rosie you're not with this. The but the ability to keep going around in circles because you done said it three times, so we're not gonna keep going around in <laughs> circles. But if there is a Christian woman who is not having sex and wants to get to know um Jared, give them your Instagram name. Uh, Jared underscore Matthews underscore seven. Jared underscore. Matthews underscore seven. All right. But what was the age range you have, Jared? 30 to 55 is fine. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. You're 33. Jared's 33. He's a housekeeper at a nursing home. He has no kids. You do want kids, right? Yes. Okay. And I want to be married. Would you date a woman with kids already? Yes. That, yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. Um, anything? Oh, she, she, she has to be in Detroit. I, I can't do long distance. She has to be in Detroit. Okay, she has to be in Detroit. Okay, she has to be in Detroit. Um, and there you have it. Anything else you want to say before you go, Jared? I'm I'm sorry if I came across judgmental, but you know my convictions about Christ is strong, so I I, I can't play around with God because I'm held accountable. You you get what I'm saying? So I'm sorry if I came across as judgmental. I I, I apologize. No, not, listen, Jared. It's not, not not nothing to apologize about, right? I was hoping that you could understand some of the things that I was saying. I respect your beliefs, right? I respect your beliefs, but I just don't believe one sin is stronger than the other. And God's eyes. That, and you, that, that's and, correct. And, and you also agreed with that, right? Yes, I, I agree with that. And you agree with that. So that was all that I, I, was I, was just, I was just strictly saying, though, you know, okay, yes, a person that's not godly, and they say they're Christian and have sex, yes, they can ask for forgiveness. But how could you be taken seriously as, as a Christian if you having sex before marriage and you know that's not right in God's eye? You get what I'm saying? So let me say, yeah, I get what you're saying, but I also think you have unrealistic expectations about marriage. Um, you know, there are people that have waited to me. Listen, it can't happen, right? You can meet a person that I, I pray. To God, you meet a woman that agrees with you tenfold and you guys get married and you can say happily ever. But I will say this. A lot of married people talk about sex as being important. And some people just want to know what it's like before you sign up to marry that person for the rest of your life. You know, sex is the one thing that you do with that person only. Right. If if you get married. Yeah, but what you want to say? Sex is not se sex is not everything. It's, it's more to life than just sex. It's, it's I agree that sex is not everything. Further, adva I agree that further sex advancing. Is not Listen, I agree that sex. Is further not advancing the kingdom of God is more important than anything that you can do on this earth. And you feel, and, and you feel like if you have sex before marriage, you're not going to advance in the kingdom of God. N not, not if I don't repent. 
if I had sex before marriage, I'm held accountable. Do you repent after you judge people too? Yes, I repent every, every time I do a sin, I repent. Okay, okay. Well, I pray that God sends you what you are praying for. All right, it was, it was nice meeting you, Kendra. It was nice talking to you. Have a blessed night. All right, bye, baby.